Today we will present the IOLM equipped with a multi-fiber switch, a kit called TK Multi-Fiber Switch MPO MTP 12 fiber, working with single mode fiber. So the ability to use an OTDR IOLM give you the possibility inside a fiber optic network of a data center or enterprise to measure the link length, link loss, link ORL, and also being able to position and allocate loss and reflectance for each and every specific events, being a splice connector of fault present on this fiber optic network at the test wavelength of choice. I will review with you the components required to perform the demo today. We start with the FTB1V2, uh, working with the FTB720C IOLM OTDR. Uh, this one is a quad unit, multi-mode, single mode, but we will work with the single mode because the TK uh, multi-fiber switch works in single mode. Um, you need this USB cable, of course, to connect the uh, FTB1 to drive the switch and tell the switch, switch to fiber 1, 2, up to 12. One patch cord, SCAPC to SCAPC, to connect, of course, the single fiber um, OTDR module to the input of the multi-fiber switch, and a launch cable, a receive cable, and a reference test cable that are all MTP connector, multi-fiber switch. So this one will be connected to the switch and we will work in different connection between the launch, receive and reference cable in this demo. And to connect, of course, launch, receive and reference cable, you require MTP bulkheads, at least two, and if during the operation you have some impurities or dirt on any fiber MPO connection, you will require this fiber cleaning tool and possibly the FIP with the multi-fiber tip. That's what you need to run the demo today. So in the properties, what we do is we select this optimal. If you want it fast, you select the fast short link. If you want it with the best resolution possible, a little less fa faster, you can choose a short link close event. In data center, because we have always short link, my favorite is fast short link and it provides great resolution for short fiber span of less than two kilometer. And finally, I select the pass fail threshold and I can decide to generate pass fail taking in consideration different standard. My preference is of course TIA D3 inside plant. I'm going to go with this one as well as a custom one that we can describe the reflectance that we want. And I always recommend using minus 45 as a reflectance. We will perform the calibration of the test set. So the calibration means that the, you need to measure the length and the continuity of the launch fiber and the receive fiber. So to achieve that, we need to perform the connection of uh, your OTDR, SCAPC to the switch, SCAPC, and the launch cable unpin MPO connector, MTP MPO, inside the MTP MPO connector of the switch that always feature the pin. So when you have this connection and the other end of the launch cable remains open, you can press measure and we'll come back to show the final result. What we see now is that the launch cable only connected has been, let's say, validated in the calibration. So we see the 12 round green check uh, indicating that the calibration has been, has been okay uh, in terms of uh, length, measuring the length and the continuity. The next step is to connect the launch with the receive and perform the second step of the calibration, the measurement of both 
bags, if I can say. So you need to make sure that you have the pin side from the launch connected to the unpin side from the receive and make sure that your key up, key up is in, a, in the right position. After that, you will click measure and you will see the same screen uh, test fiber measurement that will show the progress of the 12 fiber now connecting the launch and the receive, so a longer setup. But the 12 fiber needs to be measured, launch, receive, and the, this connection will be validated as per loss and reflectance. What we see here is the successful completion of the 12 fiber that have been tested. You see the uh, green round for each fiber with the check mark indicating that each fiber has been passed. And you see also in this test, of course, has been the launch and the receive connected together, measuring also the connection, the MTP connection between the launch and the receive. So that's what you see in the result tab. The worst case of the 12 fiber, uh, individual fiber, the worst case has been 0.72 dB for one of the fiber and minus 55 dB uh, for the reflectance. Now that the calibration has been completed, we will introduce between the launch and the receive this connection, a reference cable that will act as a fiber under test. So what I do, of course, is I take this connection here, I keep my bulkhead, I take this one is un, this one is pin, so I need my unpin, I have two unpin connector that I will quickly clean and connect with the key down here. Again, a quick clean. And like this. So now that my fiber on through test is connected, I will proceed at the measurement of this piece of fiber and the two connector, A and B. So I just press start to start the um, testing and I choose one wavelength only. That's the two configuration you need to perform which wavelength you want to test at and which optimode you want to use. So while I'm talking, right, the first fiber has been tested, now there's a second, and in sequence, it will test with use, taking, again, 15 seconds per fiber on average, the 12 fiber of this MPO connector. So we'll let the instrument run and we'll come back at the end of the sequence. So, okay, so the test is complete. Uh, after a little bit more than two minutes, our 12 fiber of the MPO connection, this uh, reference cable that we have connected between the launch and the receive has been tested. And I'm not surprised to see that a few fiber failed because I know my uh, cable, I know that this one is not pristine, but it's interesting to show you to see the value of the OTDR. So let's go to the fail fiber. I select the fiber, the touchscreen uh, FTB1 allows me to do that very easily. I select the first fiber and I switch from summary to link view just to validate which connector from the A1 and the B1, which one is bad. So we see that the first fail fiber is the connector B. And that's what you need to understand first. You just scan the different fail fiber, one after the other, and you see again, connector B. The last one of the three fail. Connector B again. What it tells you is that do not disconnect connector A. Go to connector B, do a cleaning, do an inspection if you want, and rescan the 12 fibers. That's the power of the OTDR, being able to locate precisely along the fiber where the fault is. 
It has been a pleasure for me to present to you in this video how to use the FTB720C with the MF switch MPO single mode fiber with the proper multi-fiber launch, receive cord and fiber under test. If you require additional information on this solution, I'll be pleased to discuss further with you. My name is Nicolas Gagnon. Contact me anytime. Thank <laughs> you.